He's actually, uh, Trevor here is one of CNN's top citizen journalists, and he's the youngest ever to moderate the YouTube homepage. But what's interesting, in addition to that, he also attended the World Economic Forum in Davos. So he's, yeah. he knows a lot about young people. He's going to talk about how those young people aren't necessarily as smart as we think they are. So Trevor Doherty. Thanks. First slide. All right. When I was 16 years old, I got my first job. And it was election season 2008, uh, so I joined a state senate campaign in New York. And for the first couple weeks, they didn't really know what to do with me. I was a 16-year-old, uh, but what happened was they didn't have someone uh, running their website or their social media accounts, um, so naturally they put me in that position. And in no time, I was director of online outreach for a political campaign. Now, this was the first time I ran into the assumption um, that I think is very common but very incorrect. Uh, a lot of people think that young people are experts at new technologies just by virtue of their age. Now, we might have access to more of these resources, and we might have access, um, we might use them more often than older people, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we're better at doing it than older people. And I'm going to go over just a few examples of that, and we can already see on screen here uh, Facebook, social media. There are about a billion people uh, on Facebook, and uh, half of those logging in every day, and young people make up uh, the, the biggest portion of this population. Uh, now, we all know how to do wall posts and messaging and poking and interacting at a very basic level on Facebook, but that doesn't mean that we know how to uh, go much deeper into, for example, groups and events and marketing, uh, which is what Facebook is more important for. Now, uh, show anyone at my school, the University of North Carolina, a Facebook advertising page, and uh, most of them don't really know exactly what to do with it. Now, moving on to video. Uh, in the past few years, uh, great websites and uh, new technologies, cheap technologies, have allowed us all to become video makers, video producers, video editors, and video uploaders. 48 hours of video uploaded to YouTube every minute uh, is an example of how far exactly this has gone. Um, but just because we're able to do that doesn't necessarily mean we're able to do it very well or at a level um, that, is, that is quite so high. Um, at my university, we're all expected to know how to make video at this basic level of producing projects um, for schoolwork, and uh, we, we do that, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we understand chroma keying and codecs and Final Cut Pro, um, for example. Um, we're, all, we're all good at like the one button uh, uploading and recording process, but that doesn't necessarily mean uh, we get you know, the more advanced applications of it. Now, moving on finally to uh, microblogging and Twitter. It's something that's very popular within big media, and big media commentators on TV and radio talk a lot about uh, uh, Twitter and how people use it. 200 million tweets and, uh, or more a day, uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean that young people uh, get it to the extent that we might think they do. At my university, um, we use Twitter, but not so much to tweet as to follow uh, public figures and celebrities, and uh, you'll, you'll you can talk to anyone at my school and they'll tell you that it's very rare for someone to actually tweet, to retweet, uh, to follow the trends, uh, the more important parts of, uh, of Twitter that people use. And actually, the only people who I've ever met uh, who understand Twitter and its intricacies at a very deep level are uh, middle-aged people from Silicon Valley. And I know there are a bunch of you representing that demographic in the crowd here, but that doesn't necessarily mean that people my age uh, get it to that extent. Now, there are pe people my age have a lot of access uh, to new technologies, and we use them more often uh, than the older generation. We have more cell phones, we have more laptop computers, iPads, iPods. We use them a lot, but it doesn't necessarily mean that we use them better. And I think it's really important as you launch products and projects and platforms that you realize and you differentiate between the power users, uh, people who have spent a lot of time online and a lot of time using these new technologies and get it and actually work uh, you know, consistently with it versus the majority of people my age who have a normal understanding, a basic understanding of these uh, platforms and technologies, but don't necessarily use them as much or as frequently. If you can differentiate and keep it simple for the majority of people my age, I think your uh, products will be a lot more successful. And uh, the most innovative companies, the most successful companies, you all know, have kept it simple uh, for their entire existence. And um, you'll remember the political campaign that I mentioned earlier, where I was the 16-year-old director of internet for this campaign. And I will uh, inform you that while I learned a lot about social media, I, we unfortunately uh, lost 
in the campaign. So thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you, Trevor, so much. So Trevor's been all around the world um, reporting and covering different things and now is actually a junior at, uh, at UNC Chapel Hill. <laughs>